What's going on, interwebs? Platinum Demo Final Fantasy 15. Was gonna put this up yesterday, but... Uh, YouTube... Actually uploaded the entire video, but... For some reason... It only did this part, and then the rest of it was just black space. It was just black screen. I don't know what happened. So, trying it again today, hopefully it works. <laughs> I'm just going to show you snippets. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. You can experience the whole thing yourself. But uh, let's get into it. God damn, look at this game. The thing I like about this demo is that you can tell there's a bit of Kingdom Hearts in this game just by looking at it. I mean, this demo, like this area right here in this demo looks exactly like a level in Kingdom Hearts. Exactly like a level in Kingdom Hearts. The music feels like Kingdom Hearts. Some of the enemies in this thing look like enemies from Kingdom Hearts, they look like Heartless. I know they're goblins in here, but they look like fucking Heartless. They move the same. It would make sense, because, you know, Square Enix made Kingdom Hearts, but you can feel the inspiration. And Final Fantasy as a whole has been going downhill lately. I don't feel like I've been gripped by Final Fantasy story since Final Fantasy X. And X-2 was utter dog shit. I'm sorry, Square Enix, if any of your people watch this. I'm sorry. I am an avid fan. I am. I love Final Fantasy. I love Kingdom Hearts. But I... I'm not so blinded by my fanboyism that I don't realize how bad it was. You absolutely destroyed Blitzball in Final Fantasy X too. I loved Blitzball in Final Fantasy X. It was... I spent more time playing fucking Blitzball than the actual game. I fucking loved it. And then when you did it in 10 2, you turned it into like a real time strategy game. It was fucking terrible. I had no control over my players. Ugh, it was just bad. And the story wasn't that great either. Final Fantasy 13, I liked it, but it took so long getting to where it needed to be. It was like five hours into the fucking game and you're just now getting into like the world map type thing and you're still getting tutorials. It's crazy. I never played the spin-offs of 13. I just didn't think it was worth my time, sadly. But I... I I love your games, and I would play Final Fantasy Online, you know, Final Fantasy XIV or World Reborn, or something like that. It was like Final Fantasy XI, I want to say. And these are the goblin things that look like Heartless. Look at the way they move, and tell me they don't look like Heartless. But it was, I think, eleven that you made into the MMO, and... It was not well received. But then you re-released it as Final Fantasy XIV, uh, World Reborn, or Realm Reborn, I think it was called. And people actually thoroughly enjoy that game. And I would play it, but my PC can't run Microsoft Windows, let alone a fucking MMO. So, I mean, it's... <sighs> it's a shame, because I, I really would love to play that game, and even though it has a subscription fee, word to the wise, anyone considering that game by watching this or listening to me talk, it does has it does have a subscription fee. I do believe it's like 15 bucks a month. Uh, so it's like World of Warcraft or uh, ESO, if you do the ESO Plus thing. There is a subscription fee. But, I mean, if you enjoy the game, then no price is too high. Um, but I would... It looks really good, and I would love to play it. And Final Fantasy 15 
really looks like you've gone like back to your roots and decided to revamp the game series game franchise so to speak because <clears throat> I realized it was supposed to be like Final Fantasy 13 verses or something and then you realize wait we might have something here so you just made it into its own separate game and from the demo and the trailers it looks really fucking good and I'm excited to play it god damn look at those visuals this area is kind of plain, but I'm going to assume that when the full game comes out, there's going to be, like, traffic or something, people walking around. It's not going to be empty like this. God damn. Just look at it, though. Mm. I'm fanboying hard right now. <laughs> no! <laughs> Carbuncle is so fucking cute. Darkest dreams. That's what that thing's name is. It's Carbuncle. Of your dreams, you are king. Not sure why he's depicted as green in every th fucking Final Fantasy, and even in that tiny little statue. But here he's white. I don't understand that, bro. Meh. <sighs> God damn it. Reiner's gonna kick my ass. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's trying to suck me off. Oh, shit. I think I just did spoilers. I'm sorry to anyone who hasn't known. I won't give, like, everything away, but, I mean... To anyone who knows what I'm talking about, how could you not notice that Reiner was that guy? I mean, come on. They look exactly the same. You look at Reiner, and then you look at what he is. They look exactly the fucking same! Oh, don't suck me off again, please. Uh, no, I was far away! No, uh, fuck you! Oh, that's bullshit, I was far away. Uh, fucking Ry- Oh! Reiner is pushing my shit in. Iron Golems in Final Fantasy as a whole are just my one fire spell that does massive damage and I fucking miss. Uh, <laughs> Iron Golems as a whole in Final Fantasy are just bitches. They do insane amounts of damage and they have such high defense. I mean, look at them, that makes sense, but they're not as bad as behemoths. Oh god, no. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> they're not as bad as behemoths, because behemoths can, like, one-shot you with their fucking gore attack, but this is still bullshit. Ah, I killed Reiner. And just like that, I turned back into a little boy. It's Chris Hansen somewhere nearby. <laughs> take a seat. Go on. Take a seat. Have a seat. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, just look at this place. God damn. Anyone who is, like, looking for games to play that should, you know, have some replay value or get bang for their buck, definitely check it. Just take a look at Final Fantasy XV. Nah, I'm not going to spoil the ending for you guys. If you want to play it, you can see the ending. Um, 
definitely Skyrim, because it's like the entire game and all its DLCs for one price. But take a look at Final Fantasy XV. It looks like, you know, they're... That respawns the Iron Golem, by the way. Uh, they're reaching into their other franchises, trying to draw inspiration, try to expand and revamp Final Fantasy. And you can definitely feel the Kingdom Hearts undertones in this game, but... Demos in the Xbox store. Drop a like if you like the video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, later.